We all know how popular Tesla is becoming daily, and it has evolved into one of the most successful organizations ever. They have made history by creating and modifying electric cars, and even urged the public to greater demand. Tesla is growing daily, as it is imposed with a market of more than $380 million. However, the growing demand didn't go unnoticed by Tesla, so it opted for a futuristic idea of a Gigafactory. Today in the video, we're going to have a look inside the Tesla Gigafactory. Tesla currently produces about 350,000 cars a year, far fewer than the public demands. Welcome to Just Tech, and watch the video till the end. This bold strategy will require numerous advances in their current production, including several more giant factories currently building worldwide. But the bedrock of Tesla's production is its Gigafactory. The company's first fully built factory served as the model for what could be a dozen massive Tesla factories. Tesla, meanwhile, said the U.S. sold the Model 3 and had outpaced the available output of the past two years. The Gigafactory is open around the clock and currently has 7,000 employees. The Gigafactory makes up approximately two battery packs every minute. Its production is now estimated to be 5,000 a week which is going to grow, according to Sam Jaff, Managing Director with Keen Energy in Colorado. The project is Roadrunner and will reduce the cost to $100 per kilowatt hour by 2021. Tesla has shown an ability to drive lower sales and battery pack costs. They have been planning for this moment with tremendous cost advantage for a long time, and in reality, they have done a massive execution of ideas. That's not to say that they have growing numbers of the Gigafactory. Tesla initially partnered with Panasonic to produce the batteries. Panasonic claimed that they could increase the energy density within Tesla's battery. After an allegedly fraught issue between the two companies, they recently entered another deal until 2023. Panasonic is no longer Tesla's exclusive battery supplier since they began a partnership with LG Camp and CATL that supplies in China. Working in the factory, 7,000 human employees are tamed by super-intelligent robots. These robots navigate the factory using digital maps, and the employees expand their maps, staying on a fixed path. So it's very predictable as they go into the exact location, picking up from one place and then going on to another. A robot helps to move things from one inventory to another all day long, without a whole lot of human intervention at all. Gigafactory is one lying down turn with a GPS and solar panels on accurately aligned roofs. The factory is designed to rely on being reliable in terms of energy, also having been designed to become entirely energy self-reliant. When completed, the building will have the most significant footprint in the world. Tesla has also faced scrutiny, and its master plan includes many energy-saving features. For example, the heat from equipment like compressors and high-temperature ovens will run equipment efficiently and help the factory keep warm in the colder months. The Tesla Gigafactory also has a water cooling system that repels shallow temperatures because the way the air is here in Nevada is dry and hot during the day, but very cool at night. We have a 10 million gallon water tank at the back that cools the water. We use it for air conditioning, and a lot of equipment requires chilled water to upgrade and to keep it running, said Lauren Cito, a Tesla employee. In a video, Tesla's vice president of operations also said that they wanted to become a fully net zero facility, leaving zero carbon footprint and creating products that also leave zero carbon footprint. Nevertheless, Gigafactory Nevada turned profits for the first time in 2020 thanks to the substantial increase in Tesla's cars. Panasonic's investment of $1.6 billion in Nevada plants finally yielded returns roughly 3.5 years after entering total production when construction began in 2015. It appeared that Tesla was risking everything in the Gigafactory 1. It turned out that the batteries were necessary for the Tesla Model 3, which was supposed to make or break the company and for which Tesla already had hundreds of thousands of orders, despite the first delivery, which was more than a euro. At this point, production had already started to form Tesla power walls and power packs, which were meant for stationing energy storage or a business. A power wall is like an enormous battery hanging out on the wall whenever you need or smoothing out energy consumption. One power pack is a 16 power volt battery, and the energy stored can power a typical American home for three days. 
At least five states competed in the Gigafactory by offering tax incentives, grounds, and other methods. In the hope of a future business, California, Arizona, Nevada, New Mexico, and San Antonio, Texas began incentives with no sales tax, but still needed to get the factory. Nevada estimated a sales tax of $1.9 billion for 20 years. Due to speed and the state of Nevada's incentive package, Tesla chose the center as the best location for the Gigafactory. Other locations were real access, direct sale taxability, and low air humidity. To ensure less than 300 parts per million productions, the TRIC owners gave the first 1,000 acres to Tesla for free. And of course, factories were not without controversy. In August 2018, Carl Hansen, a former company security team member, found a whistleblow conflict with the Security and Exchange Commission. In the complaint, he alleges Tesla's hand in various criminal activities in Nevada for 10 years. For once, Hansen's allegations were refused to inform the DEA of law and enforcement officials about the evidence of cocaine and med smuggling factory grounds in connection to the Mexican drug cartel. Hansen also claimed that the company successfully suppressed his internal investigation into the alleged theft of $37 million of raw materials. Following the complaint, Hansen alleged that Tesla fired him as an employee and then as a contractor because he was not a Tesla team player. Hansen then cooperated with an FBI investigation team after discovering that Tesla was spying on him and his roommate, following immediately after his expulsion. The investigation was shut down without explanation, following months of work. Hansen detailed his entire story in a three-hour-long interview. Try to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to hit the bell icon for regular updates. Also, like and share. Always one for special announcements, Tesla's most famous and controversial CEO Elon Musk declared that he planned to establish 100 gigafactories in the upcoming years. That number is far from the present scenario, as several gigafactories are being built worldwide. The first is Giga2 in Buffalo, New York. Initially, Tesla did not focus on making electric cars in Buffalo, New York. Instead, it was a factory of the Solar City before the company was acquired by Tesla. Still, the company's flagship residential energy product is this solar roof. Tesla received benefits for Giga New York of more than $950 million. Meanwhile, Tesla's $2 billion Gigafactory in Shanghai and Giga 3, which was programmed this year, is expected to produce Tesla's Model 3 using a complete vehicle production line before the end of the year. A spokesman said Tesla reuses its water from the Nevada water facility to ward off its upcoming China factory, and hopes to use the original Gigafactory as an operational model for all future facilities. To help satiate the European market, Tesla is building another factory outside of Berlin called Gigafactory 4. In a recent interview, Musk implied that the Berlin location would not make cars as the rest of the factories. However, Tesla is distinctly unwelcome to many Berliners who burned a Google campus several years ago. Protests have begun, and many people won the cooperation to leave before they pay a thousand prices. A total of 406 objections have been raised about the Gigafactory in Berlin, with the most controversial being related to Tesla's water use, tree clearing activities, and many more. Tesla has responded to these criticisms by reducing water consumption and using fewer piles on its building outside. The opposition is also upset that Tesla had carried on with Giga Berlin construction even before final permits were secured. Finally, the Giga 5 is built just outside of Austin, Texas. The structure of Gigafactory 5 is massive, with a 5 million square feet plant and numerous construction jobs. Last month, several contractors showed their interest in the high-profile project. That being said, the reports have hinted that Tesla may be pondering about working with multiple general contractors since the time the Gigafactory was built out. Tesla is multiplying, and the fate of the Gigafactory served as the company's backbone in the years to come. For now, we are at the end of the video, and also stay tuned. And if you like this video, follow our channel for more exciting updates on Tesla. See you in the next upcoming video.